Hi guys, back again with another video. Now in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, the Noise Shots X5 Pro and talk about what to expect from this. We'll be talking about the mic sound quality, the sound quality, the fit, uh, what can you use this for, can this actually connect to different devices, all those things. So let's go ahead, uh, open this up and then see what do we get. So before that, let's see uh, what all does it support. It does support uh, Qualcomm, so a, a ATPX codex. It has a 2200 mAh charging case, uh, 150 hours of total playback time, full touch control, IPX7 waterproof and a type C charging instead of a micro USB. So let's see what all do we get in this first and then we will talk more about it. Okay, so this is what you get in the box. So you get uh, two extra ear tips, large and small. The medium one is on the earphone itself. You get one user manual, one type C small cable. So uh, let's move all of this aside. Now let's take a look at the user manual. So it actually shows you what all do you get. Uh, it talks about the codec supported, it talks about how to switch it on, switch it off, how does the play, pause and everything work, how to actually fit it in your ears. So this is how it actually works. So the touch control, if you press it once, play pause. If you press it twice, previous song. If you press it three times, then next song. If you want the volume uh, to be adjusted, then you can uh, keep it pressed and that can be done. So left and right, so volume up and volume down can be adjusted that way. So that's something unique. Uh, this device actually gives you all of the controls. So that's normally not there in most of these uh, devices. So this one uh, does have a, a three tap. So it's got a voice assistant option also. So you can switch on the voice assistant. Now the best thing about this is the charging case itself. The charging case has a 2200 mAh uh, battery which actually supports charging out. So I'll be showing you that. Uh, let's keep this aside. Let's take a look at the device itself. Now I've been using this for almost two months now. So I wanted to test this before I actually make a video. So uh, even after using it for two months, the rubber coating on top of it has not gone. This is actually a very solid device. It's big, uh, bigger than your regular, let me just show you regular ones. So regular ones would be like this size. This is that big. It's big, but considering what it gives you, I don't have any complaints. So uh, let's take a look at this. So you have two ports which are protected under this. Open this and you have the type C port and your regular USB port. So you can actually connect your phone's charger onto it, uh, charging cable onto it and then charge your phone. So this is a power bank also. So that's something amazing. Uh, if you have such a big device, it makes sense to uh, give the power out also in case of an emergency, I can just use this as a power bank. Uh, so very good option. You have the charging LED also here. I should have shown you that before. So the charging LED is here. So that's it. That's how it looks like from the back. Uh, the entire device is rubberized. The coating is very nice as I told you before and it does not uh, feel flimsy at all. So the case has a good clap to it. The magnetic uh, hinge actually works pretty good. So this is the earphone. You see the big battery. So they made this thing over here. So that has the big battery. Let's remove this. The charging points are over there and that's how it looks like. So it's actually pretty plain and simple. Let's keep that there. Let's take a look at the earbud. Okay, so this is the mic. This is the touch sensitive area. So you touch this once, twice, all that function is over here. Uh, this is the charging connector. You have the big left and right written over here. This can be removed. So this is also inside also is rubberized. So it is quite comfortable, but you don't get extras of this one. The only extras you get are the ear tips. So that's how it looks like. Let me just remove this one. So that's how. It is completely made of plastic, but the plastic's quality is very nice. Uh, it's not gone bad at all. So really happy with that. We'll put this back and done. Let's put this also. And that's it. Now this 
earphone has a big battery it supports eight hours of playback time so it's more than any of the other uh, truly wireless earphones the closest that you can find is the samsung uh, bean so the bean actually has six hours of battery life this one gives you eight hours so uh, if you are looking for good battery life, if you're looking for good uh, mic sound quality, and if you're looking for uh, good bass, good sound quality, then this is actually a very good option. Now I have done waterproofness test and mic uh, test of this. So I'll be putting the links below so you can see all of that. So that's how it looks like. I've been using it for past two months, no issues. Uh, absolutely uh, comfortable now. Uh, you cannot use this very comfortably under a helmet because this actually protrudes out a lot so it will hit the helmet it will come off uh, other than that any other scenario whether you're going running jogging walking whatever uh, this is good i will be showing you a gym test very soon i will be testing it with uh, people with small ears big ears and then we will be seeing if this fits them well or not and what uh, is the noise isolation level so for me it is great but Let's just take it to the gym and then find out how good or bad this is going to be in the other video. So that's it. That's all that I have to talk about after using this for two months. Uh, I'm, if I do remember anything else that I missed out in this video, I'll be putting that in the comment. And if you have any queries, go ahead, comment, uh, email me, uh, contact me through messengers and I'll reply back to that. So that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe with the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video. Bye bye.